Hello there and welcome to another video and in this video I will be taking you through how to use InVideo AI to create a short videos for personal finance. Now that said, let's head right in. Alright, so first things first, you do need to create an account for this video. Um, you can do that by going to invideo.io slash studio and you can create an account right here and if you do have an account, you can of course log into your account and in order to follow along you do need to do one of these and eventually yeah, head over to your dashboard right so to create a video all we need to do is go to templates because uh, if you're a lazy person like me then uh, definitely templates is something you will be using more often all right so first of all this is a free account this is a free account you can upgrade to premium as you can see uh, this is a free account it's not upgraded to premium yet uh, so uh, when you do create an account you might need to eventually upgrade your account so that said let's head over to templates and uh, well over here i have a few options to select from the left and of course i can select from uh template we're currently on templates there are other options to uh, pick um but uh, that's just what i will be going with for now and uh, on the search bar right here i'll click on it and search for personal finance and hopefully i'll get some template all right so we're seeing some search results already uh personal finance click on it and uh let's wait for this to load so first of all i want to create uh, a video a short video for a mobile device let's say an instagram reel or something like that so i do need to change the orientation or aspect or aspect ratio so here i can go to filters right by the left panel and i can click on portrait Click on it and wait for it to load and it will load templates that are available in portrait mode as you can see this one looks really nice so i'll just click on it and uh yeah so this is it right here i can customize it and as you can see by the right i still have an option of deciding uh making a final decision as to whether i want this to be in portrait square or of course landscape but uh yeah i've already made up my mind and i'm going to go with portrait so i'll click on use template and it will load up my editor for me where i can customize uh this template for my own personal use so we'll just wait for this to load up and hopefully we can get started all right so we're finally here that did take a while but uh well it has loaded up eventually so uh we're currently on editor mode as you can see we can see the timeline we can uh, do a lot of things here if you do have experience or when it comes to video editing then this shouldn't be a problem uh, uh editor mode is something you will use more often but uh i most times prefer storyboard mode so i'll just go here because simply because i can uh just click on certain items here and customize them directly so i'll just just uh, double click on this and it opens up a panel right here where I can edit the text on each element on the screen so I do have some text here so I'll just uh, copy this right here and uh, let's head back to yeah and paste this here let's do that and as you can see it's changed so I think there should be an option where I where we can change the alignment right here uh, so I'll just centralize it right and move this a bit and hopefully that works yeah so we'll click on this one and I'll just copy some more text like so and we'll head back and uh, paste this right here all right so let's play back and see how it looks all right so hopefully that made sense uh let's take this back a little bit and as you can see i have an issue with my alignment over here so i'll just uh pull this uh let's see all right, that looks a bit better. So as you can see, I have an option of adding a logo over here, but uh, I don't have a logo currently, so I'll just uh, let it be. I can click on this and it will uh, open up a dialog box where I can, of course, uh, import a logo or I can click here directly and uh, drag and drop one right here. All right, so that said, uh, I think that's all for this video. Uh, there is an option here where you can still change the uh, size, the screen size. Uh, let's just do wide screen and see how this looks on a wide screen device uh, this is necessary in case you want to export your video um, in multiple 
screen sizes uh, it will this it, it, you can do that there is an option of doing that and that is one of the reasons why I love uh, templates because you can create a video in one screen size and export it in uh, a bunch of screen sizes uh, so that works hopefully that works uh, hopefully that makes sense I'll still go to storyboard mode simply because I like this and as you, as you can see it opens this up in a different tab uh, which is really good you know when you're working on two separate uh, videos for two separate screen sizes uh, that can work you can do that and um, yeah that's kind of it for this video that's kind of all I wanted to show you for this video so this is a personal finance video and uh, it really isn't as hard as it may seem because all you have to do is search for a template that best suits the video you're trying to create and you can customize individual elements on this including the background and uh, just simply you know creating something that best suits what you want with this so uh, in video ai is a really nice tool and uh, it's easy to use all right so if this video did help you do well to leave a like on the video and of course subscribe to the channel and one thing i do need to note before i leave uh, this is a free account i don't know how many times i'm going to emphasize this so in order to export your video uh, you do need to upgrade uh, to premium right so this is a free account so we cannot export uh, otherwise there isn't really that much of a big deal the process is really straightforward so with that said thank you very much for watching and see you in another video